All right, so good morning, my collective. So, um, as most of you may know, it is around the time of the spring equinox, I think is how you pronounce it, um, which is also like the spiritual new year. Um, this is the time where earth mother nature resets herself so in my opinion this is the truest new year oh sorry about that <clears throat> okay so I did hear something about a reset during this time, which would make sense because it is um, the new year or, you know, like I said, about to be. Um, there's also something about like self-care and self-love. Also something about being blessed or staying blessed. Also, nutrition could be a thing. You could be focusing, like, on your nutrition at this time. Some of you could be, like, thinking about going keto or doing a keto diet or something like that because I'm paying attention to this um, coconut oil I have over here, and it says keto. So, um, I'm going to pull from my sacred self-care deck, and I'm just going to get, like, an overall message or advice for this upcoming new year if y'all hear noise in the background they're working on um our driveway right now so what are the messages for the collective spirit guides ancestors god universe for my collective what is the overall message or the overall advice for the collective <clears throat> alright so we got it's interesting that this came out because when I was meditating I, I was like seeing like almost like an auric field um, so it says cleanse your energy field or clean your energy field okay so for this upcoming new year you may want to cleanse or clean your energy field, your aura, okay? So you can do that by meditation. You can do that by eating healthier. You can do that by detoxing, cleaning out your room, your space, <sighs> reorganizing, watching the people you're around, things like that, watching the things that you're watching, things like that. <sighs> I'm feeling something in my chest right now. Um, so some of you could be having chair. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what it is, but, um, if you are, you know, go see a doctor, me. but I was saying, um, that there's something about self. So that could be a big thing for this upcoming new year, like focusing more on self. We did get a card that flew out. Yeah. We got the star. <laughs> We got the star. So this just proves what I was just saying about focusing on self. <sighs> what does the collective have to look forward to this upcoming or this new year? Reverse or right side up. 
So I'm hearing a change of money also could be a change of friendship, also could be a change of mind or a change of belief. We got the moon at the back of the deck, okay? So the cards that we have out here are the High Priestess, the King of Wands. We have the um, Seven of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. And then we have the Three of Cups and the one, two, seven of wands. So it's interesting to me that we have the three of pentacles and the three of cups and then the seven of cups and the seven of wands. So there's definitely something here about like collaborating, collaboration, um, coming into union with certain people that can help you and that you can also help y'all can help each other y'all gain from each other y'all pour into each other's cups could be with money whatever friendship family relationships I feel like there's going to be an emphasis on building a, f a stable foundation and getting clutter out or, yeah, getting clutter out, getting people out, like extra people, opportunities, things that don't really serve you or that don't really need to be in your aura or your auric field. Like getting rid of all the excess Temptations, illusions, whatever. <sighs> I'm feeling like we're coming out of this moon energy here and in more to like the light energy. Because, <clears throat> you know, the moon energy is like heavier energy, the shadow. What you don't see, what you don't know. I feel like you're moving into more of what you know or more of what you can see. Yeah, even with the high priestess here, it's like, I feel like you're moving more into what you feel is coming. I feel, it's like a strong sensation of knowing that something is coming, but not knowing what exactly is coming. Um, You could book a reading in my... uh. Fiverr account or you could just DM me but either way you don't have to pay <laughs> um, there's a strong energy here of like taking charge taking, taking charge of what once uh scared you or like gave you anxiety I don't know why I heard that but gave you anxiety or um you know whatever okay <clears throat> let's do the archetypes so what does the collective have to look forward to this new year of the spring equinox what does the collective have to look forward to this new year what energy Ooh. I'm going to take this one I'm not going to take the others what energies do the collective have to look forward to 
Okay. Take that and knock these. <sighs> All right, so we got the river. Mm, this card is interesting. We got the river. To me, this is like giving like coming out of the matrix vibes. Or like seeing past the matrix, like seeing past um, illusions that kept you held back. Oh, we got the kiss. Okay, so there definitely could be um, like some romance in the air or just passion. It doesn't necessarily have to be like romance or relationship, but I am feeling like passion or even like romance within self because this reading is about self-care like just loving more on yourself you got the hunter at the back of the deck yeah again with the horse so it's definitely like coming out of um certain illusions or certain darknesses or certain fears or worries um and moving more into the light more into the truth of a situation Clarify the kiss. Ooh, we got the fool. Clarify the fool. Okay. Knight of Wands. all these horses out here you could have recently left a situation or um be moving out of a situation you could even be like literally moving from somewhere like your home or like out of state out of the city something like that i'm just getting like this feeling of like new endeavors like moving into new territory but it's not like a scarce or a scared feeling. It's like a <clears throat> like an enlightened feeling, like an empowering feeling. Some of you could be like going to the beach or moving closer to the water or something like that. Some of you could be like tapping more into your spirituality or getting more in tune with like your intuition or God or whoever. What does the collective have to look forward to this upcoming new year? It's something about your aura. Your aura could be changing from what it normally is to like something new or like evolving is the better word for that yeah we got waxing gibbous it's okay for you to change direction so yeah there's a there's definitely like a big change going on or like a like a shift in energy or a shift in what you were doing or a shift in what you know keep moving forward you got this at the back Ooh. coven power of sisterhood yeah so that's kind of like um that's kind of like this three of cups here and then like i said we also have the three of pinnacles so yeah so um there's definitely like this energy of grouping with people or meeting new people or uh collaborating combining i don't know why i heard combining but some of you could be like getting married or something <sighs> definitely feeling marriage even with the three pinnacles because that's like a contract that's like a business right um 
but if it's not that it, it could also just be like collaborating for a business or something like that okay let's try to get some more messages We got judgment. Five of Wands. There's something here about like beauty too. Like you could be changing like the way that you look or like um, like changing the things that you wear, even the music that you listen to, or like, the, well, obviously the people that you hang around. Um, but like, you could be ha having like a change in the way that you look, maybe like getting more tattoos, changing your hair, changing how you dress, something like that. Or just like doing more self care stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got a lot of sevens out here. I'm feeling like there's a decision that was made or a decision that is going to have to be made um, or a decision that, like, you're thinking about making because something was not working out. Like, you feel like you were planting seeds in a situation that was only bringing you conflict or um it could have been bringing like in eternal conflict or internal conflict i mean um clarify judgment yeah we got the higher friend the ace of cups yeah, something just didn't feel right or or you just felt like you're being called towards something else, towards something that's going to bring you more fulfillment, more happiness. Yeah. It's like wherever you're at now or wherever you were at, it was putting you in a mindset of lack or you could have been literally like not having as much you know, like material, money, wealth, things like that. Um, but even if it's not that, or even if it is that, it's more so about your mindset. Um, it's like the place that you were in, you didn't fit in. <sighs> or the place that you're in now. Sorry about the noise in the background again, but even with that, like, it's like they're redoing our, they're redoing our driveway, and it's like they're, it's like, it goes with the reading, because it's like rebuilding something, like, like, there could have been, like, some sort of destruction, or you were the destruction, you caused some destruction, you, you brought something down, or you tore something down, but so that was you can reach something better like more beautiful more aligned with you we got the page of cups yeah so there's new um fulfillment coming in or that you're going towards that you're being called towards <sighs> some of you could be like Taurus or something like that because it sounded like i was saying Taurus, but i was saying toward towards <laughs> Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got the nine of wands. I feel like you didn't have faith in the situation or like faith was telling you that a situation was sneaky, was weird, or it just wasn't working out. Or it's like you had to be sneaky in a situation or you, you felt like you was walking on eggshells in a certain situation with this um what's that three five with the seven of swords here again a lot of sevens are out here a lot of sevens sevens and threes <clears throat> i 
Okay, so what is the advice for this uh what is what is the advice for this new journey? We got the Queen of Swords. What is the advice? Oh, wait, is that two cards? Oh, no. What is that advice? One more, please. What is that advice? Okay. Ooh, and we got the King of Cups. Back of the deck, we got the Five of Pentacles again. What is some... Um, Advice Okay And then what is the advice Some advice for the new year Okay. All right. So for the advice, we got the Queen of Swords, the King of Cups, and then we also have spells and rituals, bring magic and self-care together. And then we have connect with your ancestors. So yeah, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, um, like I said, a lot of y'all could be tapping, like, more into your spirituality um, or religion if you're religious or whatever. Um, but I feel like the main focus is to just, like, focus on yourself and do what you feel guided to do. Do what you feel called to do. And um, don't be afraid to, like, cut out swap out when I see the queen of swords it reminds me of like back in the day like when my grandma used to have her fly swatter and she would just like you know what I'm saying get going on the, on the flies I feel like <laughs> don't don't be afraid to like swat any flies that come in your way or that just are that don't vibe with you that don't resonate with your energy um don't be afraid of that, but also don't like have a wall up. Just know it's for you and know it's not for you. <sighs> and I feel like spending more time with yourself will help you to know that. But that is going to be this, um, king, that's going to bring in this King of Cups energy, which is going to be fulfillment. I feel like <clears throat> for some of you or for a lot of you, this is going to be like some sort of relationship or friendship or family member or some person that's going to come in and help you uh, like more along your path or like with your purpose. OK, so the last thing I'm going to do is get um, how your aura is transitioning but there are advice cards in here, too. So if that comes out, I'm going to just read that. But anyways, um, what is going on with the collective's aura in the near future? How is the collective's aura changing? the collectives or a changing all right so we got crown chakra this chakra is located at the crown of the head and is a source of enlightenment and our connection to the divine yeah so like i said a lot of you are connecting more to the divine to god to your ancestors your guides whatever you believe in you're connecting more with that um and your crown chakra is being awakened is being open is being balanced 
okay and at the back of the deck we got blue aura so people with blue auras like to share their beliefs with others they are natural communicators and take on deep leadership roles oh i don't know why i just said deep because that definitely was not in there anyways deep (laughs) leadership roles they need to be careful that they use their gift for communicating for good as they can become intense if their opinions are not accepted Yeah, so I feel like you're becoming a leader in whatever you're doing, and the people that you're around. (sighs) People that are not going through through this awakening right now, they could be seeing you more as a leader, or you could just be stepping into a leadership role, period, whether people see it or not, okay? And we got 55, and then we got 9 the number nine and the number 55 we also have the number 10 out here um we got three we got seven like i said so if y'all want to look up those numbers and see how they resonate with you or how they connect please do so because i'm sure there will be a message in that and um yeah i think that was a pretty i think that was a pretty um clear reading i am gonna do a love reading because i feel like for a lot of people and if not a lot definitely a few um there's like a relationship or like a relationship expanding if you're already in a relationship or like a relationship coming in that's going to help you with um like these transitions so once i get off here i'm gonna get back on and i'm gonna do a love reading and I think that'll be all that I do today okay but um thanks for watching and yeah make sure y'all um subscribe to my youtube and um sorry I'm getting distracted make sure y'all just subscribe to my youtube and if you want a personal reading you can book in my fiverr account or you can dm me okay